Hey everyone, thanks for coming along today. We're gonna walk through a 2024 Arctic Fox 1150 truck camper. If you've uh, been in the truck camper world before, maybe had a smaller one, thinking about kind of a bigger one with a little more storage, floor space, uh, etc., and you got a, a, a pun intended ton of truck, uh, this might be one you wanna look at. The 1150 is the biggest truck camper uh, Northwood builds. They've had it in their uh, uh, floor plan lineup for a lot of years now, and it's a great, great floor plan. So let's take a look at this um, and talk about some of the things that why uh, Northwood does such a great job on these things. So for starters, I always like to point out the slide seals. When you're a truck camper shopping, I want you to try to put your fingers in past the slide seals. If you have a hard time doing it, you know that manufacturer did a good job. If your fingers slide right on through, you know you're going to have a drafty unit that's probably not that uh, well insulated. On the storage end of things, we have storage under our booth dinette. You're going to have a drawer on the other side of that as well. Inch thick compartment doors that are magnetic. On both sides of the camper, we're going to have this storage. I know it's kind of dark in there. To show you how far I got long arms, that's about how long it is. <laughs> so we have our suburban furnace exhaust, our center of gravity point, and then we have some more great storage below our wardrobe on the inside, and then you can access this from uh, the inside of the coach as well. We have frameless thermal pane windows on board this thing. It's a standard on Arctic Fox, but uh, not all campers out there have those. It's gonna insulate better, keep the, uh, keep the warm in and uh, the cold out and vice versa come, uh, come the hot season. The other thing those are gonna do for you is keep the inside of the camper quieter. It's, it's actually a shockingly big difference. So in 2016, they actually put a lot of height on these things. I think it was an additional four inches, if I'm not mistaken. Still carrying through to that today. So a lot more headroom up in the upper deck. But for 24, we've gone with this nice cap, so which is great. So having a cap, that's going to look that way for as long as you own that camper. And of course, the big AF always looks good. All right, come along with me over here on the utility side. You can't talk about these campers without talking about Ryko Titan electric jacks, remote controlled, uh, electrically operated, individually all, all together, uh, one of the best jacks in the camper business. We have a suburban water heater, that's a gas electric water heater on board this. And let's just take a quick look and see what size this is. This one's going to be a six gallon water heater on board this. So going to do a decent job. Now our battery rack. So this is a sliding, locking sliding battery rack and fit two batteries in there. Satellite ready connections, our shore power cord. Then we have this access to the back side of some plumbing, which is kind of handy. So you can get in there and do some things if necessary. And then, like I mentioned on the other side, the exact same amount of storage space as we looked at on the other side. Now in here you can see some of our holding tanks, low point drains, dump valves, all enclosed into this forced air heated compartment. Now we do have dead air space below our tanks as well, so that's going to keep things from freezing up uh, in there. But we do have a layer of R11 insulation on the floor on that 5 8 tongue and groove uh, decking. So R11 on the floor, in the roof of this, we have R18 bat insulation with a layer of R15 astrofoil. So this thing really is gonna do a phenomenal job. I mean, literally Northwood's one of few manufacturers that say all conditions, all weather, four seasons unit. Your other manufacturers are gonna call it the polar package, the ice cube package, you know, whatever clever name they can come up with. They don't call it out like Northwood does. So Northwood got together a few years ago with Torquelift and came up with the Fox Landing. This was a great innovation to the truck camper world. There was always so many different directions of 
Do you do scissor steps? Do you do the flip down steps? Do you do nothing? Uh, this is fantastic. We have these steps that flip up, and when you're ready to travel, you flip that up, and away you go. Got our little nifty fire over there. We have a mid step here. This is easily removable. Just take that off. That's going to get you. Sorry about that, everyone. That was probably rather loud. The nice thing with us at Smith Harvey is what you see is what you get. Um, we're as transparent as the day is long. So we have this nifty little Joey box. Uh, so a lot of great storage in there. So that even goes further yet in there. So when you are lacking obvious storage going with the truck camper route, this thing has more storage than about any, any other truck camper out there. Now also on board this, we have a 2.5 Onan propane generator. I'll flip that ladder up, open this. And we have that propane generator that you can fire up from inside the coach. Super easy. We are standing under our power patio awning here as well. So great way to gather some shade. All right, guys, let's go check out that new solar package up on the roof. Here we are on the roof, the 1150. There's our Solex 4, 400 watt solar package, our big Northwood skylight, Coleman Mach air conditioner. And this thing can actually hold 36 Northwood employees. Super strong roof. Okay, welcome aboard the Arctic Fox. We're gonna start with, we have dimmable lighting inside this. We can shut off the lighting, we can dim the lighting in the unit, which is nice. Uh, up on the ceiling here, Northwood does Ozite. This is kind of like a carpet lining on the roof. Does a couple things, kind of adds an extra insulation level in here and also dampens the sound, which is which is nice. We're prepped and ready for our Wi-Fi router. So if that's, that's your deal, it's prepped and ready for that. So the 1150, you can get with a wet bath or a dry bath option. This is the dry bath option. I think, uh, you know, that suits probably most people's uh, wants. This has got a porcelain commode foot flush. We have a nice drawer that pulls out. Toilet paper holder. Very good size cabinet in that thing. Much bigger than the average. Kind of more or less more access to plumbing, which is great. They make that accessible. But then we still have... A medicine cabinet in there as well and then if you swing around there you can see our shower and then i'm going to show you what a six foot three person looks like in there so this is actually very sizable for a truck camper so my head is into the skylight but there's still tons of room and northwood uses these massive skylights in here so I'm not feeling cramped. I'm not having to like keep my head in one location and, and definitely enough room to turn and move it around as needed. Built in soap holder stuff, very standard shower head, but definitely a, a very nice setup, having some separation between the actual shower and everything else in that bathroom. Then we can kind of close that off with our sliding door. Lock that into place for travel, and you're ready to go. Real quick, before we move on into the kitchen, so we have a little flip down storage over here. And then as I mentioned, we have a pull out drawer that we have that outside storage from the other side of this. That's one of our two remotes you get. That's the emergency remote, shore power cord, and our quick connect spray hose. Now this is set up with Northwood's Dream Dinette. So this is a very easily accessible bed to drop in, uh, to drop down very quickly. So I'm gonna flip that up, pull that down. And so if you're bringing along maybe kids, maybe uh, maybe some, some uh, adults, 
uh, couples maybe do some separate sleeping uh, sometimes. This is going to give you access to a pretty decent bed as, as an option. I mean, if you think about it, this truck camper has more floor space than some small travel trailers and also similar sleeping arrangements pending the floor plan. So, so definitely a great option to gain another bed in the 1150. All right, let's move on over here to our 12 volt refrigerator. So a very good size refrigerator, much bigger than they used to be. And again, these 12 volt fridges cool down in about two to three hours. So it's fantastic. And then we looked at the back side of this storage compartment from the outside. We have a little flip down there, drawer. Encourage you to, uh, to feel Northwood's cabinetry when you're shopping their products. Very heavy duty built in-house in the in Grand. Got a little wardrobe there with some hanging. Some hanging rod. We've got some nice built-in shelves, always making great use out of, uh, out of space. So let's move on into our kitchen. Northwood's done this for years uh, on either truck campers or uh, the 27.5L fifth wheel. We've had this really great pull-out uh, kind of can rack, kind of pantry, if you will, and it locks into place when it's in. So pull it out when you need it, put it away when you don't. Then down here, we just have a nice little couple shelves. Some access to some plumbing on the bottom. We have a nice little splash guard around our stove. Got the knife rack in the back. And then a three burner Furion cooktop. These grates are super easily removable for cleaning. And then we got our indicators for when gas is a flowing. So safety, safety, safety is always nice. A couple drawers here. And then we are gonna have some access, very small storage, but access to plumbing, the back side of the water heater, uh, bypass valves, which is super easy to get. You don't have to be um, a gymnast or a contortionist of any fashion to, uh, to, to get to the back side of this water heater. So that's uh, super great. Single basin stainless steel sink. Very classic pull out faucet. And then we have some controls up here. There are, overhead cab lighting so this is kind of cool this is a switch that will literally kill power to the upper deck so you're not having to maybe crawl back up in there shut lights off etc before you leave the camper we have porch lights turning on the water heater water pump generator start and our radio up there bluetooth radio thermostats in the center of the coach where it belongs and then we have a remote control for our Thermostatically controlled premium fan vent in this. It's also going to be rain sensing as well. So an option we like to take on these is this little Arctic Fox camper seat step. So it does a few things. You know, maybe if mobility is kind of an issue, um, maybe you have trouble making that hike up in. This is just going to give you that little little additional step up to help you get to the upper deck to the bedroom to the bed. Um, another thing is, where does everyone sit? Obviously, you have seating at the booth that I met, but as funny as it sounds, you do have a nice little seat here. Maybe this is where you're hanging out, talking to whoever's cooking, maybe putting your shoes on or something, but it's just an extra space to sit. And this is removable, so if you don't want to have this every time, this just unhooks off the edge there, and maybe you leave it at home, maybe you bring it with you. But Speaking of things that you can attach here, if maybe you're needing a more counter space to prepare uh, your meals, there is a countertop extension with a leg that goes down, attaches here, that we can get some countertop extension out to about here or so. So that's a uh, great option. All right, let's head to bed. Okay, so up in our bedroom area, we have a 32 inch LED TV. Got a little pull down with some storage down below. Little hamper here. 
and then we have our uh, uh, little hanging space in there. We're also going to have all of our solar controllers uh, stuff for that 400 watts of solar we just looked at on the roof. We got fabric pull down blinds here. That's an emergency window too. And then same on this side, we got space in there to hang, hamper, and then this is storage is also pretty great. A lot of hanging space in there. And that's that uh, ta uh, countertop extension, excuse me. So up here, okay, got some accent lighting up top here. That's gonna be nice for kind of a nice little glow. And then we got individual reading lights on each side. And we can turn the accent lighting on and off with the switch. We have 110s and USBs on both sides of this thing. So, and like I mentioned in 2016, they gave about four inches more of headroom up here. So I'm kind of long on the top half of my body. And so kind of sitting up here, I still got a ton of room to the ceiling. So, so yeah, I think that's about everything guys. I hope you've enjoyed uh walking through with me on the 2024 Artifox 1150 um if uh if i missed anything uh hit us up in the questions down below give jeff or peggy a call uh with us and uh and don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh we'd love uh love you to follow along with more videos so hope you guys have an awesome day thanks a lot